हेलो रुशाली मैडम यस मैडम रुशाली मैडम हेलो मैम एम आई ऑडिबल हेलो मैडम इज शायद आउट ऑफ कवरेज एरिया ओके वील जस्ट टेक टेन मिनट्स बिकॉज मैम इज कमिंग बैक फ्रॉम द कॉलेज सो शी इज ऑन हर ट्रेवलिंग जर्नी and therefore she has requested that she'll be starting 10 minutes late so please participants just bear for 10 minutes ma'am will be joining and we'll be starting with the program soon hello participants will be joining in 10 minutes yes.
we are very sorry all the participants because of traffic madam has been stuck up so within 2 minutes she'll be joining she has reached okay ma'am no problems Yes, ma'am. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, ma'am. Thanks, ma'am. You have to rush fast. To, I'm so sorry to be delayed because I misinterpreted as 3.30 time. Got it's home okay, okay, and uh, just made the setup and arrangements required and here I am. Yeah, thank you, ma'am. Thanks a lot. Hello, everyone. Good afternoon, one and all. Today is the last day, that is 10th day of the online national 10 days training and capacity building program on research methodology. The program started from 7th November and today 16th November, we are there for the end day of the program. At the outset, I would like to inform all the participants that due to some emergency, today's resource person, Dr. Shraddha Bhume, she is not able to join. She has to rush to her native because her mother had a heart attack. So we requested at the last moment to Dr. Poonam Kakkar and uh, to take the session. It is necessary to bring on the record. And I'm too happy to say that the positive way the madam agreed at that last moment to handle the session, that was really heart touching for all of us. This is expertise that don't require preparation. Just three years, uh, just three hours left. A person may be in a different state of mind. You saw she just came from the college. Someone asked you to handle the research session and only passionate researcher and an expert will say yes. So this is what we actually learned today from Puna ma'am. Ma'am, really, we all are thankful to you for helping us at this time of emergency. Dr. Poonam Kakkar has already taken two sessions on sampling and sources of data. So I think no more introduction is required, but being a formality, ma'am is working with Nirma, uh, Nirmala Memorial Foundation College, Mumbai. Uh, okay, sorry, before starting with the session, I would request Rushali ma'am to do the uh, starting with national anthem. Okay, ma'am. Yes. Ma'am, I think there's some problem with the network. Hello? Ha, Ma'am, there's a problem with some network. Okay. So we'll continue. Okay, Ma'am. Okay, Ma'am. So once again, thanking Dr. Poonam Kakkar. I'll take the privilege to introduce her. Ma'am has already taken two sessions. 
she is working with nirmala memorial foundation college mumbai with 16 years experience she is a phd guide for business management she has completed two major uh, minor research projects and published several papers in ugc care national and international journals i don't think further introduction is required for ma'am we have enjoyed her lecture on online data sources so without wasting much of the time i would uh, i would welcome dr poonam for the session ma'am all yours the session is yours and we all are your audience thank you ma'am thank you for accepting our invitation again thank you ma'am well a certain kind of uh, emergencies are such that these are unavoidable and we understand the circumstances and that's how uh, some experience that uh, an, an individual has in the field what uh, or the domain that uh, uh, the expertise are been looking forward for having such expertise i said uh, we have to ensure that the game should go on you know the show should go on and hence i readily accept it uh but basically i do not know what is the last session all about but uh, certainly uh, let's see if i meet up the expectations of the audience what they're looking forward for being the last session certain tips for writing effective research paper and uh, certain do's and don'ts in research which will definitely help them out in the academic journey i believe that i could uh, have some kind of interaction with my audience and give them some idea over the same yes ma'am and yes, if at all you can touch upon certain funding agencies it would be better because the session topic was actually funding agencies oh ho ho all and right. from last four days we were having hands on training mm -hmm. on parametric test and non parametric test all right so this has been done so basic uh, even practical knowledge my audience has now got how to yes. use spss and over it yes. fair enough well i wanted to get some idea of, um, well others to are the participants been uh, disable able to chat yes ma'am they are they yes are. yes ma'am all right uh, good afternoon one and all welcome back to the session let's see how much can i stretch uh, this session and what best can we offer to you ensuring that uh, time is precious and uh, so is knowledge let's impart it to the best so that we each of us can have good learning in the journey of research uh ladies and gentlemen i just wanted to have an idea that uh, what is that you were expecting from the session i believe the first session all was about research about review of literature followed by you had uh, sampling design followed by you had structuring of hypothesis and objectives thereafter uh, hands on uh, 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 training you all got it on spss so now what is that you are expecting apart from research agencies funding agencies say anything else that you are looking forward in this session i believe in uh, giving my sessions to be more simplified manner and uh, the the state of confusion that a researcher always has in mind as to where should i begin from or what should be the title of my study or basically what should i do in my review of literature okay so uh, i go into the crux of such matter and uh, basically help the researcher showing them a pathway as to what uh, one needs to do as a budding researcher yeah so ma'am broad idea on research like and you said do's and don'ts uh, and any practical difficulty you have come across and how you resolved it you know some uh, research which got was stuck because of some reason and you know how to avoid that all right is there anything else thank you very much we can touch up on that area too definitely deciding the title okay that's wonderful uh okay there are a lot of times that uh, your guide says go and do review of literature and build up a model and come so many a times we really, really do not know that what is that that we are expected from doing review of literature and how is that uh, the model is being structured the conceptual model that the your research guide you should be asked for so in this session i'll be uh, trying my best to help you out as to understanding how the conceptual model or a research model is been built up based on the review of literature what you do and uh, if time permits then we'll be studying on how gap analysis is been done uh, i will also be uh, sharing with you all 
how objectives have been structured and how every word in the objective will probably help you to decide your statistical tool. Okay, so you need not depend on the statistician to help you out based on your data. He is going to recommend which tools that you can use. Rather, you should be an expert right in the beginning while, while drafting your objectives to know as to which statistical tool you want to apply. So let's see how do we go about with it. Okay, let me share my screen. <clears throat> okay, let's not talk about research right now. Okay, I think almost past 10 days you, you have spoken enough about research. So today we will not be talking about research much, but we will try and understand how in day-to-day -day life we actually follow somewhere or the other the path of research, okay? Let me give you an example, friends. Uh, I'm reading a novel. The name of the novel is Half Girlfriend. I repeat, I'm reading a novel and the name of the novel is Half Girlfriend. This is a very popular novel, if you all know. It was written by Chetan Bhagat. And uh, after reading the novel, I intend to make a movie out of this novel. Now friends, in order to make a movie, what are the elements and whose help and assistance do I require? Well, I'm not going to get into the depth and the technicalities of making a movie because even I know that we are not that experts how to hold the camera and which, uh, which uh, 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 camera and tools what we require for making a movie. But just a basic knowledge, in order to make a movie, who are the people involved and which elements have been involved in it? Can I get some idea? The chat box can be active. In order to make a movie, all right, we need the director, all right, we need the we need finance, definitely. We need a financer, followed by definitely actors. Anything else? Anybody else? Script, okay. We need some planning, okay. Sensor board, definitely who's going to approve your uh, movie, whether it should be released or not. Certainly you need music directors, yes. Action directors you will need, definitely. Cinematographers you need, yes. Costume designers, definitely. Sponsors, 100% you will need even a beautiful location. So that's how cinematography will come into picture. There are hundreds and hundreds of people involved for making one movie, friends, yeah? Okay, interview with the author, definitely media plays his own role in order to popularize or defame the movie. We need some kind of property, all right? So these are basically uh, pictures, elements, and uh, people involved for making a movie. Take it. All what you have told me, I'm trying to shrink into a frame. Let's see how it goes. So you told me in order to make a movie from a novel, which is called as Half Girlfriend, all what I require is first, Financer, definitely, who's going to finance my movie, which runs into cross. I need a producer who's basically going to help me in making it. The director, who is the captain of the ship, and basically who's going to sail through the entire movie, making of the movie is in his hands. So his vision is going to be actually put into picture, into the frame, which the audience are going to say whether it is a hit or a flop. Then somebody told me we are going to have actor. Actually, we are going to have actors. And these actors could be uh, 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 the hero, the heroine. You may have the comedian. You have the villain. You have the vampire. Now my question arises, uh, on what basis the actor decides whether to select the movie or not to select? On what basis does the actor decide whether they should be a part of that movie or whether they should reject and not be the part of the movie. Script, very good. 
So the actor theme, very nice. So basically the actor decides based on the script whether he should be a part of that movie or not. All right. So if I am a director and if I have to select my actor, a Bollywood may sip do se char actors to me hai. Ha, do se char popular actors. Hai. When I say top five actors, then I can name them. But actually, the industry comprises of so many actors. Will I include all those actors in my movie? Certainly not. So in my movie, depending upon the budget that I have, I will be having maximum three to four actors. And these actors, as a director, I will select based on the script, based on the popularity of the actor. And certainly, the actors will decide the film to be joined or not based on what narrations as a director I'm giving them. So that's how you, you, you nailed it, right? That I may, in actor, I may have hero, heroine, comedian, vil, uh, villain, vampire. All this are selected from a script. Script ke baad aapne bola audience. It's the audience who are going to see the movie and decide whether it's going to be a hit or a flop. Other people involved in the movie, you also told me costume designer, music director. So there are going to be hundreds of people who are involved for making the movie. You may have the light man, action man, dubbing artist. Finally, the movie is made. Let's have reverse engineering. Hum piche se shuru karte. Let's touch the field of research. The movie is your thesis. The hard work that you have done for the period of minimum three years to maximum five years, all the search that you have made, or the inquiry in given investigation that you have put in, is finally compiled and made into a thesis, which is a movie. This movie is made by you. So actually, the director is you, who, are, who is the captain of the ship, who is the one who is actually <coughs> making the movie and finally bringing out to the audience. So the director for making the thesis movie, it's you. Who is the producer? Definitely is your guide. So please remember, do not have any hassles with your guide because ultimately he is the one who is finally also going to be equally responsible for getting your degree in your hand. Without his signatures, you will not be able to go ahead. So build good relations with your guide, okay? Follow his instructions properly. Next is financer is actually in research DRRC who is actually going to accept whether to finance you for the movie. So in research, you say, they're going to accept whether your title is approved or disapproved based on which your research runs. So that's how you are turning your novel, which is Half Girlfriend, into a movie, which is called Thesis. Now I said actors, and you told me these actors are actually selected. The actors are decided based on the script. In research, these actors are your variables. Now, friends, when I talk about variables, when I talk about actors, I said there are hundreds of actors. So for your movie, your entire movie will run about only with these actors. They are the prime focus people where your movie is focusing on. So similarly, movie considered as thesis. In thesis, it is the variables, your actors where the entire storyline is going to run about, is going to focus upon. Um, these variables are many. There are dependent, independent, mediator, moderator, controller. I'm not going to go in that depth, which are the variables. But I'll explain you what are variables. And basically, the two main types of variables, you should not depend on an independent variable, because based on that, your review depends. Based on that, your objectives are structured. Rather, based on that, you decide the title of your study. So now you understood that actors to bhot sare hote hai. Lekin sabhi actors may apni movie mein nahi lete. I select three to four actors 
which are called as variables and start with my study. Let's consider this. Now, आगे बढ़ते हैं ये एक्टर्स आपको कहाँ से मिलेंगे तो यू टोल मी स्क्रिप्ट से मिलेंगे दिस हीरो हीरोइन कमेडियन विलेन वेम्पायर द स्क्रिप्ट इज नोन एज योर आर ओ एल रिव्यू ऑफ लिटरेचर सो इट इज वेरी क्लियर दैट जो एक्टर स्क्रिप्ट देख के डिसाइड करते हैं मूवी में काम करना है कि नहीं वैसे ही रिसर्चर अपना एक्टर्स द फोकस पीपल द प्राइम एलिमेंट ऑफ द मूवी ऑफ दर थीसिस they decide their variables based on the rol what they do review of literature so review of literature will tell you a lot of variables for example simple simply i say stress among college going students now you may tell me couple of variables which you are aware about so you may say the stress may arise maybe because of examination you may say the stress may arise due to peer pressure you may say the stress may arise due to a uh, uh, financial problem you may say the stress may arise uh, the, uh, maybe due to, to the family issues ab ye aapke dimag mein nahi aaya aapne experience kiya hai aapne kahin pe padha bhi hai aapne padha means you have gone through you have browsed through some literature and that's how you came to know various factors which causes stress among college going students however do not limit yourself just to four to five reasons ab jab review kar rahe ho literature ko aapko pata chala ye teen se zyada zyada teen se char zyada isse bhi zyada variables hai which causes stress for example i was surprised to know that stress among college going students also happens because they have uh, uh, pro probably they have half girlfriend or probably because they have no girlfriend or boyfriend but there was a time you know when i'm talking well when i say my era it means i'm not so old but there was a time in my era when it was said uh, having a girlfriend or a boyfriend was like oh you have a girlfriend or you have a boyfriend the trend has changed now now it is a scene like oh you don't have a boyfriend so situation changes yeah time frame changes so review of literature mein aapko pata chalta hai ki this is one of the reasons also for stress well the review also told me stress is also due to lack of confidence how am i getting these one one factors is not through my mind is not through my experience it's through some kind of uh, a literature that i'm browsing through past review papers which have been published some books some journals some newspaper articles who are telling me that these are various reasons for causing stress among college going students so in short ye variables mujhe milte hain mera rol se aage dekhte hain my audience who is my audience audience is nothing else but my respondents my data my data is going to help me to say whether the predetermined objectives of my study have been achieved or not i will be able to test my hypothesis based on the data and what my data analysis is talking not everybody may accept to the findings of my thesis similarly not all audience may accept to uh, the making of my movie some may like the movie some may not like some may have their perceptions told over it similarly my research work may not be appreciated by all some may like the findings some may have some kind of arguments on my findings some may have some kind of debates on my findings do not get scared rather that is a, a ray of hope for the future research so when your findings become a debatable topic i think that is a sense of achievement that you can have so your data will talk about your analysis and your findings that precious role the data plays you have costume designer or music director well in research this people are nothing else but your acquaintance uh, uh, your librarian your statistician who is going to help you in the research journey in order to make your final thesis each of them play a crucial role in your research journey do not confine yourself just to you and your guide for research work 
people do not disclose and do not discuss much about their research in their research journey. Well, it is said, do not talk about your title, I agree. But till the time you're not registered, once your topic is registered, you should openly be talking about your topic to people because finally, when you talk to people, you're going to discuss and you're going to come out with a lot of uh, ideas and ventures about your research topic. So ideally, you should be talking to people about your research work because there are chances you get a ray of hope on the area where you're stuck with. So now time and again, I was talking about variables. So you all know variables are the actors. But in research world, let us understand variable. In English language, variables means something which keeps varying. Something which is not constant. So if I am being asked, what is, uh, what is, what is the percentage? of Rupali madam in 12th standard, she will say around 90%. If I ask Madhavi ma'am, what's your percentage? She will say it is 78%. If I ask Savita ma'am, what's your percentage? She will say it is 98%. So uh, some answer what I'm getting, it is not constant, it is varying. What is constant? Sun rises in east and sets in west. This is something a known fact, it is constant. If I go to boys' hostel and if I ask the gender of every boy there, I'm going to get a constant answer that they are male. But if I go to a co-ed hostel and if I ask uh, there what's the gender, I may get a, a, a varied answer. That is boy, that is male or female. Something which is not constant, something which keeps varying. For example, I ask you how at the end of the session, how did you find session of Dr. Poonam Kakkar today? So we may get varied answer. Some may say it was, uh, it was um, just that par. Some may say it is good. Some may say it is average. Some may say poor. Some may say excellent. The answer is not constant that I'm getting. The answer is variable. Something which is variable is a problem. And every researcher focuses on something which keeps varying because they are highly unpredictable and they create an impact on each other. That's the reason in research, nobody wants to study what is constant. Everybody wants to study what keeps varying and how one thing will have an impact on other, how one thing will behave or a particular situation. This creates a curiosity in the minds of researcher to study about factors, determinants, antecedents, which are called as variables. Welcome to the world of variables. Now I'll be giving you a lot of tips when you want to write down your uh, research paper, when you're thinking about uh, st structuring your title for your research work, how are you going to think in which dimension are you going to think, to select your topic. So friends, we understood variable is derived from the word varying, which means changing. It is a volume, it is digit, it is number, it should be measurable in nature. So when it is measurable in nature, then I would say these are variables. A question arises. Ye variables kahan se milte hai? I just told you, variables are actors. Actors kahan se milte hai? Script. Research mein script bole to? ROL. From where do you get your variables that you want to study? Let's take an example. Uh, you are in the in on the stage of your uh, of your life cycle where you have to get married. Okay. You're looking out for the better half uh, for for your uh, lifespan. Okay, so you have got some kind of uh, a, a thought in your mind. What kind of better half you want? You have already visualized some features and characteristics of your life partner. So now the process begins of hunting the life partner. So the first person comes and probably you try and understand what you are trying to uh, uh, um, imagine what partner you wanted. Are those features and characteristics there in that person? What you are trying to see is the compatibility you are having with that person. 
and if you find that you are having that compatibility with that person you're feeling comfortable with that person you want to know more about that person you finally decide this is a person i want to really go ahead in my life with similarly is research research uh, that is rol in research rol is your academic dating wherein you keep reading 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 marriage proposal mein you keep meeting meeting and meeting till the time you get the right person in research till the time you get your variables now these variables are are hundreds in number हर रिसर्च पेपर अलग अलग वेरिएबल बोलेगा ये फ्यू एग्जांपल्स हम लेते हैं इसमें से वेरिएबल्स हम देखते हैं कौन से हैं देन आई गिव यू वन मोर एग्जांपल व्हिच विल मेक यू वेरी श्योर अबाउट व्हाट इज वेरिएबल एंड व्हाई वी नीड टू नो इट एट द टाइम ऑफ स्ट्रक्चरिंग द टाइटल ऑफ योर स्टडी लेट्स सी दैट नाउ योर एग्जांपल व्हाट हैव गिवन यू इज परफॉर्मेंस ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स इन कॉलेज एंट्रेंस एग्जाम नाउ व्हाट विल कीप वेरिंग परफॉर्मेंस मेरा परफॉर्मेंस अलग रहेगा माधवी मैम का अलग रहेगा रूपाली मैम का अलग परफॉर्मेंस रहेगा बेसिकली द परफॉर्मेंस कैन बी मेजर्ड नेक्स्ट पूजा मैम का अलग परफॉर्मेंस रहेगा माय क्वेश्चन इज ये परफॉर्मेंस किस पे डिपेंड करता है आप बोलेंगे हाँ जी मैम परफॉर्मेंस तो बहुत सारी चीज पे डिपेंड करता है और ये परफॉर्मेंस वेरिंग है बिकॉज इट इज वेरिंग वी कॉल इट इज एज अ वेरिएबल और राइट नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू से वॉट एज परफॉर्मेंस डिपेंड अपॉन definitely the number of hours that you are devoting you are you are uh, devoting for your study that influences your performance anything else which influences your performance then yes student teacher ratio next study material which is given next number of students in the class next probably the education attainment of the teacher how qualified is your teacher to impart that knowledge to you definitely the teaching style also influence the performance of the students friends where am i getting all these factors from is not from from my mind these factors i have received through my review of literature so maine ek paper search kiya google pe dala performance of students depends on aur mujhe 5 6 7 8 20 se 25 paper mil gaye wo 20 se 25 paper pehle to main uska print out nikalungi not download because once i that is practically my research experience when you have something physical in hand that makes a lot of difference when you're reading rather than have it in on screen so when you have that physical copy in your hand you are going to see ke ye research paper mein kya bataya hai performance of students depend on what factors तो चार पेपर आपको बोल रहे ये तीन फैक्टर्स दूसरे चार पेपर और फैक्टर्स बता रहे दूसरे चार पेपर और फैक्टर्स बता रहे तो आपके एक्टर्स तो बढ़ते ही जा रहे हैं नाउ यू आर गोइंग टू सी व्हाट कंफर्ट आर यू हैविंग विद विच वेरिएबल्स और हर पेपर हर पेपर आपको बताने वाला है कि उनके रिलेशन एक दूसरे के साथ क्या है फॉर एग्जाम्पल लेट मी टेल टेक एन एग्जाम्पल यू गेटिंग योर फ्रेंड टू योर हाउस ओके okay? अब कोई भी आपका फ्रेंड जब घर पे आप बुला रहे हो इनवाइट कर रहे हो एंड दैट फ्रेंड इज अननोन टू योर फैमिली मेंबर्स द फर्स्ट थिंग व्हाट यू डू इज यू गेट देम इंट्रोड्यूस टू ईच अदर ओके सो यू इंट्रोड्यूस योर फादर टू योर योर फ्रेंड सो ऑल योर मेंबर्स इन योर फैमिली यू विल बी हैविंग सम रिलेशन राइट तो आप ऐसे नहीं बोलेंगे ये मिस्टर अशोक है ये मिस्टर ये मिस बीना है ये मिस्टर मिस आचल है ये मिस्टर विवेक है you will not introduce this way you will say uh, that's my father mr ashok that's my mother um uh, uh, miss bina that's my uncle mr vivek this is my niece ajil what are you trying to show here ye sab members bhi aapke variables hai family members lekin har family member ke sath aap apna relation describe kar rahe hain you are telling your relations similarly research mein you tell the relationship between the variables and what are this relationship 
these relationships are nothing else whether the two variables are positively related negatively related significantly related they have strong relation they have weak relation let me give you an example. I may say uh, job satisfaction and performance of employee. Look, performance of employee, aapka alag hoga, mera alag hoga performance, kisi aur ka alag hoga. It's a variable. That's the reason I want to say. Job satisfaction, wo bhi alag hota hai. Aapka alag hoga, mera alag hoga, job satisfaction kisi aur ka alag hoga. See, variables which are varying and hence I want to study. Job satisfaction influence performance? Yes. I want to know their relationship. Whether they have positive relation, negative relation, strong relation, weak relation. So I say, lot of review of literature papers told me, job satisfaction has got positive relation with performance of employee. Every research paper when you're doing your ROL will definitely talk about the research findings and findings will talk about relationship. So ideally, friends, when you are doing your review of literature, you are going to find out for two things. These are, see, I'm going to bring you out with more, more and more uh, variables. जो हमारे दिमाग में कभी नहीं आएंगे लेकिन किसी और ने रिसर्च करके ढूंढे ये वेरिएबल्स तो ये वेरिएबल्स नॉट लेट्स टेक अप एन एग्जांपल हियर फॉल इन सेल्स व्हाट कुड बी द रीजंस फॉर फॉल इन सेल्स कैन यू टेल मी द रीजंस कैन कैन यू टेल मी द फैक्टर्स हर कंपनी का सेल अलग होता है कैन आई कैन आई मेजर सेल्स यस डस सेल्स डिफर फ्रॉम कंपनी टू कंपनी यस डस इट बिकम अ वेरिएबल फैक्टर यस so sales depends upon what? So sales is a dependable factor. It's a dependable variable. Sales depends upon, very good, fashion. Sales depends upon uh, price, salesman, quality. Sales may also depend upon what's the demand. Demand, market, correct. So fall in sales could be for what reasons? Maybe your product design is wrong. Maybe your promotion is wrong. The fall in sales could be because your pricing is default. Maybe customer's taste and preference has changed. This could be various reasons for fall in sales. Ye mujhe kahan se jawab mile? Ye sab mujhe pata chala when I did some review. So friends, ideally, sales is your variable and factors like pricing, promotion, product are known as independent variable because they influence my sales. Sales becomes uh, uh, a variable which is known as dependent variable. It depends on, sales depends on product design. Sales depends on the pricing. Sales depends on the promotion of what you do. So now we understood what are variables now. All right. So let's go ahead. Example of variables related to poor crop. Uh, ye cropping, poor crop ki hota hai? So I found out all these variables from review of literature. All right. Now I said the variables can be two types, dependent and independent. The one which can stand on its own. The one which influence other factor is known as dependent variable. For example, sales. Sales depends on price. Is le sale ko dependent bola jate, price ko independent bola jate. In review of literature. I try and find out the variables, their measurement, and their relationship. Whenever you do your, your review of literature, now you understood that when you're doing your review of literature, friends, you always have to remember that you need to find out variables, their relationships, and you're going to find out <coughs> how these variables have been measured. Now, here I have example. You are going to find out which is dependent and independent variable. Influence of grade on self, influence of grade on self-esteem and happiness of students. So, grade becomes variable, self-esteem becomes variable, happiness becomes variable because sub ki happiness vary hogi. Self-esteem sub ka alag hota. Individual people may have different level of self-esteem and happiness level because it is varying. It becomes variable. 
So your self-esteem and happiness will depend on what it is the great that becomes independent variable. Now, why am I making you teach dependent and independent variable friends? Because your title of your study should have variables. If when you're going for an interview, many a times panel member don't even look at your proposal. They are only stuck to the title because these experts, when they read their title, they are super expert to identify your, uh, your variables. And they know what are the variables that you're going to study. Next question they ask you, how are you going to study and measure these variables? The entire interview will, will, will go around the bush with your variables. Rather, when you are actually talking about your topic, when you're deciding your topic, when you're giving your open defense, you will have to mention your title. And in that title, what are your variables that you want to study? These variables are nothing dependent, independent, which are coming from your review of literature. Let's take an example. Study on influence of stress on employees' performance in ICICI Bank. Mujhe aur koi bank nahi dekhna hai. HDFC Bank nahi dekhna hai. SBI nahi dekhna hai. Ek hi bank dekhna hai ICICI. This becomes my constant. No other bank but ICICI. What I want to study, I want to study influence of stress. Stress is a variable factor. Stress on what? Employee performance. Performance aapka mera alag rehta hai. Again, a variable factor. Isme depend on an independent variable kya hai? Variable, stress and employee performance. Dependent factor, employee performance. Mera performance kis pe depend karta hai? Os to stress pe. So if you see, this is also the title of the study that I'm doing. That becomes a research title, study on influence of stress on employee performance in ICICI Bank, how precise and clear it is, where I've mentioned my variables in my title itself. So if you have a question in your mind as to when we should be doing review of literature, it starts even before you decide the title or structure the title of your study. Because ultimately, the title of your research study should have variables that you want to study. And from where do you derive these variables? You derive these variables from review of literature. Ek naya organization may you have joined. In the new organization, you don't know anybody. But over a period of time, when you start meeting them, when you start talking to them, when you start being with them for a longer period of time, you start knowing each other. In the organization, you may not like everybody. You may be comfortable with few of them. And with few, you may have your own reservations. You may keep distance. Why? Because probably you're not having that good vibes and you're not comfortable. Similarly in research. By up job up research career marketing area may factors influencing consumer buying behavior for online shopping. Lelo. So both are factors rehengi, both are actors rehengi. You keep reading, reading, you'll find a lot of lot of a uh, uh, lot of variables, but you have to decide which variable you want to work with. Which variable you are comfortable with, which variable relations you want to test for your audience. Ab ab jab ye bolenge, I want to do research which nobody has done ever. Kisi na bhi pehle nahi kiya aisa research karne. I want to do something new. When you say I want to do something hardke, something new which nobody has done it, let me tell you, you're inviting trouble. Agar aap bolenge, mujhe aisa research karna hai ki kisi aur ne kiya nahi hai. Aray bhaiya, aap apne variables kahan se dundenge? Up up the relationship between the variables can say dundenge. So if you are in, in, in the track of thinking, I want to do uh, 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 a very uh, uh, a new study, a study which nobody has tapped upon, a study which rarely anybody has tapped, then let me tell you, uh, it is not wrong in thinking, but you are in a in a, in, in, in a mess because where will you find your variables? 
and where will you find their relationships from? So at the beginning stage, unless you are an expert and you have become a very good researcher, where you can develop the a scale, where you can introduce your new variables, so yeah, look back. So friends, here we understood the review of literature. Say, I am getting my. These are a lot of examples I have given. All right, so let's go here. From where do you get these variables, Hanji? You understood you're getting your variables from the review of literature. Okay, so basically, question arises from where you get your review of literature. You may browse through books, may browse through journals. That sources are told you. Now the question arises: How are you going to maintain your review of literature? जब आप कुछ रीड करते हो, how are you going to maintain your review of literature? How are you going to collect it? मेरे मेरे गाइड ने बोला saw uh, uh, well the picture what you saw that was of my guide okay so whenever I deliver any sessions for uh, research methodology uh, जैसे हम बोलते हैं uh, uh, Om uh, um, Ganeshaya Namah so I take my guide's name and start with my sessions because ultimately he was my mentor okay ultimately Dr Madhu Nair he is my he was my guide for my PhD. उनके अंदर हमने अपने पीएचडी किया। I was his first student to do PhD under him, and my research journey was guided by Dr. Neeraj Koshi. So these were my my mentors, uh, my godfather, who have helped me to do my research and get some knowledge on research. All right. So when my guide said go and do review of literature for our hundred page hundred research uh, review papers, I want. So I downloaded hundred papers somewhere in my domain. But my question arises: What should I do with this hundred? So I went to Neeraj Kaushik sir. Sir, so hundred papers are coming. Download have been downloaded. Now, what should I do with this hundred papers? So Neeraj sir told me to read it. Okay, sir, what should I do with this hundred papers? So Neeraj sir told me to read it. Okay, sir, what should I do with this hundred papers? So Neeraj sir told me to read it. Okay, sir, what should I do with this hundred papers? So Neeraj sir told me to read it. Okay, sir, what should I do with this hundred papers? So Neeraj sir told me to read it. Okay, sir, what should I do with this hundred papers? So Neeraj sir told me to read it. Okay, sir, what should I do with this hundred papers? So Neeraj sir told me to read it. Okay, sir, what should I do with this hundred papers? So Neeraj sir told me to read it. Okay, sir, what should I do with this hundred papers? बहुत सारे फैक्टर्स मुझे मिल मुझे मिल गए हर एक पेपर में नया नया फैक्टर मिलते गया था मुझे तो सौ पेपर रिव्यू करने के बाद मेरे 110 वेरिएबल्स बन गए नीरज सर के पास वापस गई सर आई रेड 100 पेपर्स फ्रॉम व्हिच आई फाउंड आउट 101 वेरिएबल्स सर स्टार्टेड लाफिंग विल यू स्टडी ऑल दिस वेरिएबल्स टाइम है क्या होता है पीएचडी कितने साल में करना चाहती हो अगर 15 साल में करना चाहती हो तो पढ़ो 101 वेरिएबल्स अगर मिनिमम पीरियड में पढ़ना चाहती हो तीन साल से पांच साल में तो ये 101 वेरिएबल में से पूनम फाइंड आउट एन एट मैक्सिमम टू मैक्सिमम मैक्सिमम टू मैक्सिमम टेन वेरिएबल्स इससे ज्यादा नहीं ये तो तुम्हारा डबल पीएचडी होगा सो फाइंड आउट द वेरिएबल्स दैट यू वांट टू स्टडी सो आई से ठीक है विच वेरिएबल्स यू आर कम्फर्टेबल उसके रिलेशनशिप क्या फाइंड आउट किया तुमने सर ऐसे कोई रिलेशनशिप फाइंड आउट नहीं किया तो सर से तो उसका मतलब क्या रहा तो तुमने आर में किया क्या कैसे किया ऐसे सर अभी तक तो सिर्फ मैंने डाउनलोड किया और जो भी वेरिएबल्स लिखे गए वो बुक में लिखती गई तो ही टोल मी हाउ हैव यू रिटर्न शो मी तो मैंने तो सिर्फ टाइटल लिखा था टाइटल के नीचे ऑथर का नाम लिखा था ऑथर के नीचे मैंने अपना लिखा इन द इन द अबाउ पेपर इट वॉज अरेटिव काइंड ऑफ रिव्यू ऑफ लिटरेचर डन एंड बिलीव मी फ्रेंड्स वी ऑल डू नरेटिव काइंड ऑफ रिव्यू ऑफ लिटरेचर आई शो यू हाउ इन एज टाइम पर तो उनको बताया न सर ने बोला ये क्वालिटेटिव काइंड ऑफ आपने रिव्यू किया है इट्स ओनली नरेटिव फॉर एग्जांपल दिस हॉर्स इज दिस हॉर्स इज फ्रॉम यूके दिस हॉर्स इज ब्लू इन कलर दिस हॉर्स इज द फास्टेस्ट हॉर्स दिस हॉर्स हैज रन 500 रेसेस पूनम दिस इज क्वालिटेटिव काइंड ऑफ एंड नरेटिव काइंड ऑफ आरओएल व्हाट यू हैव डन वेयर हैव यू मेंशन एनीवेयर एनी काइंड ऑफ रिलेशन बिटवीन द वेरिएबल्स द बाइनरी द कॉजुअल रिलेशंस तो सर वो क्या होता है और क्यों करते हैं क्यों करते हैं वैसा सो ही सेड वेट आई विल शो यू हाउ टू हाउ टू बेसिकली डू आर ओ एल देन ही सेड मेक अ टेबल ऑथर का नाम लिखो योर लिखो बाजू में टाइटल लिखो पिक अप द फर्स्ट पेपर फिजिकल इज मच बेटर देन हैविंग ऑनलाइन ऑन योर स्क्रीन पिक अप द फर्स्ट पेपर आइडेंटिफाई इन विच एरिया इट इज डन लेट मी गिव यू एन एग्जाम्पल दैट आर रिसर्च इज डन ऑन एम्प्लॉय एंगेजमेंट एंड Uh, factor or or antecedents of employee engagement in hotel industry. I repeat, antecedents means 
uh, what are the factors responsible for employee engagement in hotel industry so that's how then law a uh, review paper uthaya to unhone ya ye hotel industry mein tha so i said char panch che ye variables hai and they are saying uh, uh, they are they are they are influence on of, uh, on employee engagement into uh, five star hotels chalo to wo maine area likh liya फिर फिर वही पेपर का आगे कि व्हाट इज द फाइंडिंग ऑफ दैट पेपर व्हाई डू वी राइट द फाइंडिंग्स बिकॉज एवरी टाइम द फाइंडिंग्स विल टेल द रिलेशनशिप लेट मी टेक यू एन एग्जांपल हियर एवरी टाइम द फाइंडिंग्स विल टेल यू द रिलेशनशिप is the audience with me check check yes yes ma'am yeah chaliye study on factors affecting employee engagement that's the study that i want to make okay i got a lot of messages also thank you very much all right yes we do have people with us so the title is study on factors these factors and nothing else but the determinants antecedents that you want to study which are called which could be variable in nature and you want to study employee engagement which is again a kind of a variable so you see the title the variables are mentioned here hence you need to do review of literature even before you decide your title at the time of deciding your title like teen se char mahine lagte to decide your domain in which you want to do research and your title and then you have to do rigorous review of literature so here they try and found out what are various factors through review of literatures all this review of literature what you see here they are basically in the form of narrative kind of review of literature unfortunately where we researchers go wrong this is a new type of research which is all out when you talk about a category journals what they want is not the ordinary type of review of literature they ask for systematic review of literature and meta analysis so these are uh, this kind of research paper is purely based on review of literature purely and near about 200 to 300 kind of a research a review of literature is been made a model is built and some kind of relations between the variables are found no primary data is involved here only the process secondary data is been taken in order to do systematic review of literature so when such kind of why it is done that also i will tell you later so when i draw and when i do review of literature i find out my variables the the variables are then been structured into a model employee engagement so when you have work environment influence employee engagement image of the organization influence employee engagement incentives of payment influences employee engagement training and development influences employee engagement decision making influences in short all these are my variables which are known as independent variables they influence what they influence my dependent variable so in short when where you get this all from rol now when i want to make a model based on my research study on my rol remember one thing always your dependent variable will come on your right hand side always dependent variable will come on the right hand side fall in sales will come on right hand side job performance employee performance will come on right hand side something which is dependent on that will come on right hand side all the independent factors we can stand on its own will come always on the left hand side when you talk about the arrow keys so the arrow will point out on the dependent factor and the end point will be on independent factor this is a very simplified conceptual model 
लेकिन जब हम रिसर्च के बारे में बात करते हैं हम आर एल करते हैं वी फाइंड आउट द रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन द वेरिएबल्स एंड दैट्स हाउ दिस रिलेशनशिप इन रिसर्च आर कॉल्ड एज हाइपोथिस so friends how do you get your hypothesis your hypothesis are the relationship between your variables this relationship could be positive negative strong relation weak relation significant relation no significance relation ye words kahan se la rahe ho bhai rol se aapne koi to bhi paper mein relationships padhe hai ab unhone wo relation test kiye dusre population pe you pick up the same variable pick up the same relationship you write down that as hypothesis and you test on your sample ki jo previous study ne bola hai ki there is a significant relationship between job satisfaction and employee uh, performance is the same relation also been true for my sample of the study so from where do you get this relationship you get it from rol how do you write down the relationship that's how the uh, the hypothesis are written here this hypothesis when tested by applying various statistical tools like z test chi square test depending upon what type of your data is parametric norm parametric yahan pe z test laga ke look at the findings the findings will tell you the relationship between your variables i don't let me enlarge it you'll be able to see better no this is better now you can see it so yahan pe aapko relationship bataya hai aur yahan pe bol rahe hai there is a positive relationship between work environment image of the organization supervisor correlation training and development on employee engagement positive relationship so when you are making your model how do you show this positive relationship take a look you will show the relationship something like this acha acha come on there was one more yes you see the plus sign you see the minus sign that's the relationship that you have derived this relationship is nothing else you will be crafting your hypothesis towards your 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 left hand side you have independent variable towards your right hand side you have dependent variable which is a work life balance which ultimately we'll talk about is if somebody can switch off your camera then i will be able to, yes we shall talk about employee turnover so work life balance depends on what education level depends on what health issues depends on what higher income so there is a positive relationship between higher income and work life balance there is a positive relationship between health issues and work life balance which further influences employee turnover so how do you derive this conceptual models now you know you get it from your review of literature so how do you write the review of literature that's what i said in the table what we were seeing in the table we write down review of literature where we mention the result because in result we write down the relationship between the variables and that relationship will help us to draft hypothesis which are either directional hypothesis which says directly that there is a there is a positive relation or there is a direct uh there is a negative rela uh, relationship next column is all about what does it say next column research design so research design will basically help you to get answers to your question as to what is the sample size taken what is the sampling design uh, uh, uh why this uh, sampling technique is used and how is the data been collected so basically all your wh questions if you have in your mind if you do a review of literature you will be able to get an idea about the research design which is taken what are the tools technique and statistical tool use that you're going to write down finally the reference likewise you will pick up around this 200 kind of papers of review that you have done and you're going to write down all your variables all your findings all the relationship between the variables that you do ultimately how will it look like 
the table that you draw from which you will derive your model, your relationship in you know, a hypothesis. I'll show you once again here. So this is completely a review based paper. A lot of articles are now done on review based paper. Based on review or on literature, this model was been created. There's an employee engagement. These are the factors, person factor, job related factor, organizational factor. These are nothing else but your actors. So many actors are there. Will you, will you, study, will you, will you study with all and play with all the actors? No, only few selected variables. Now you have to decide which variable you want to study with. So this, out of all these variables, which I derived from ROL, I now have to say, what is the relationship? That's how then I draw up a table. Here comes the table. This is my review of literature table. Usually you do not write in this way. It depends upon university to university. Your guide will let you know how you should write the review of literature also. This is a method, friends, review of literature. This may be sections. हर एक वेरिएबल का चार से पांच आप रिव्यू करोगे, because हर एक वेरिएबल का आपको रिलेशनशिप फाइंड आउट करने का है। You have to find out the causal relations between the 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 bivariates variable। ये रिलेशनशिप कहाँ से मिलेगी? रिव्यू पेपर से। तो छह के साथ रिव्यू कीजे, तब आपको पता चलेगा कि फीडबैक एंड एम्प्लॉय इंगेजमेंट का रिलेशनशिप क्या है। Then Role clarity and employee engagement the relationship kya hai? Direct hai, indirect hai, positive hai, weak hai, strong hai. Or how will you come to know this relationship? That is through review of literature. This, this is then projected in the findings. So I wrote the paper name. I wrote the uh, concept. I studied in the, which area it has been studied. I wrote which statistical tool it has been used. How it has been measured? Measured means is it measured on uh, which scale? Is it in three, uh, uh, five scale, seven scale, eleven item scale? So that item scale also that is nothing else but how the variables have been measured. Scale bole to kya? Mera ek chance mila to I will tell you what do you mean by Likert scale. Many of us don't know what is Likert scale about. So if time permits, I will show you that video also. And this antecedents are nothing else but your variables. Look at the variables that you have done. Look at the variables that you have got. Consequences, consequences are nothing else, but it's talking about the variables. And finally, key findings are the relationship with these variables. So based on this key findings, you will draw your variables and you will draw the relationship, put them into a frame, that frame is called as your model of the study. So basically, what is model of the study? Model of the study comprises of key boxes. When I have told you, left hand side, right hand side. It comprises of variables and it comprises of relationship between the variables. That becomes your model. I hope this much is clear with us. Yes, there's one doubt, yes. In accounts, I'm finding difficulties with variables. Please start increasing your dating with your ROL. So you need to have more datings with your ROL. The more you have datings with your review of literature papers, the more you'll understand in depth and you select the best partner that you want to have for your research work. So there cannot be you having difficulties in understanding variables. But now it make your fundas clear, Poonam. Once your fundas are clear as to what are variables, then there is no confusion in that. Especially when you know what is dependent, independent. If you time, I will teach you mediator, moderator, controller, but I don't think in one hour, one and a half hour, so much could be taught. Actually, so yes. actually ma'am, I am going through the AI accounting, that is artificial intelligence, intelligence. accounting. Okay. Okay. But uh, a lot of, uh, I done literature review, but there I am not understanding the variable because they are giving that uh, first detail and narrow research. Hmm. Hmm. Like that. There is no relations between anything. They are not finding any relations. Then you are not looking at good paper, ma'am. Go to qualitative papers. It means you need to go on to the sites where you have A grade or and, and, and good journals. 
because those good papers are published in good journals which talks about what we are looking forward for yeah right ma'am hmm. thank you madam can yes, we wonder if you can it? tell us yeah, yeah if you can tell us about you know how to differentiate this is one problem i also face okay that uh, when i was reading literature most of them were like you know just likha hai kuch bhi acha nahi likha hota tha ah that so, is when we talk about aise, quality of paper quality qualitative dhoonde matlab Quality. you need to get into good journals man build up your network as i said get into the forums talk about a category journals go to scoopers emerald all those a category journals will definitely talk about relationship what you are looking forward for for making your model so till that till this time what we all people are doing and what kind of research uh, uh, we come across i'll show it to you kaise banaya jata hai aur hum log kya dekhte hain हम जो देख रहे हैं ना एग्जाम्पल यहाँ का देती हूँ हाँ जी तो जब आप रिव्यू ऑफ लिटरेचर करेंगे फोकस ऑन वेरिएबल्स फोकस ऑन रिलेशनशिप ऑफ वेरिएबल्स राइट रिव्यू इन सेक्शंस सेक्शंस बोले तो एक एक वेरिएबल को उठाइए और उसका आप रिलेशनशिप फाइंड आउट कीजिए दैट one one variable what you pick up this becomes into sections mention the studies in reverse chronological order most recent upar likhiye and then followed by past previous researches upar likhiye every section should uh, uh, must conclude with relationship now you understood so every time when you talk about a variable ultimately draw up a relationship which the uh, uh, a summary of all the research papers have said that there is a positive relationship between the two variables this is how you keep ending each section and you keep defining your variables and your relationship so the entire rol should be done the question there is rol khatam kab kare और शुरू कब करें शुरू करना है जब आप रिसर्च टाइटल के बारे में सोचते हो खत्म कब करें जब तक आपका ओपन डिफेंस नहीं हो जाता बिकॉज द अल्टीमेट गेम ऑफ आर ओ एल इज यू आर गोइंग टू से ये रिलेशनशिप पॉजिटिव है जब आपको पूछा जाएगा ओपन डिफेंस में आप बताएंगे ये मैं नहीं बोल रही हूँ एक्स वाई जेड ने अपने पेपर में बोला मैंने तो सिर्फ अपने सैंपल पे टेस्ट किया है और वो भी यही बात बता रहा है सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू नो मोर इन डेप अबाउट द वेरिएबल्स एंड देर रिलेशनशिप प्लीज गो थ्रू दिस पर्टिक्यूलर पेपर एंड स्पीक टू सो एंड सो ऑथर दिस इज हाउ यू कैप कीप योर सेल्फ सेफ एंड सिक्योर्ड ड्यूरिंग योर ओपन डिफेंस प्लीज डोंट कोट मी एनी वेयर बट आई एम टेलिंग यूर टिप्स एंड ट्रिक्स एज टू हाउ टू हैव इफेक्टिव ओपन डिफेंस एंड हाउ विल आर ओ एल हेल्प यू because ultimately in rol you are testing the relationship in your study all those relationship you have not derived all those relationships have been derived in previous paper you are retesting those relationship for your sample so any yeah. question raised you are going to say ye pehle bataya tha aap pehle ke author ka please ek bar paper padhiye uske liye i yeah, have man, just tested the same okay. relation this is how you will be talking about well i talk about lekin jab hum review of literature karte hain and you know if we find that the paper is not very good yes. you know it is not giving something uh, methodology or bahut kuch clear nahi hai paper. so hmm. should we yeah should we drop the paper drop the paper because it's we, not giving any substance to us what we are looking forward for so ideally we should drop such kind of papers at least hota kya hai na ma'am ki online padhte hain then it becomes you know they are so long Hmm. उसका फिजिकल hmm. प्रिंट लेकर आते हैं कि फिजिकल hmm. पढ़ेंगे एंड फिजिकल hmm. के बाद वो पता चलता है कि पेपर यू नो देन यू मैम आई टेल वन थिंग हाउ द रोल ऑफ एब्स्ट्रैक्ट प्लेस अनफॉर्चुनेटली हम लोग पता नहीं मुंबई में के कहा बट बडिंग रिसर्चर्स क्या करते हैं सब कॉल फॉर पेपर आता है फ्रॉम कॉन्फ्रेंसिस एब्स्ट्रैक्ट बना के सबमिट करना है पेपर बनाने से पहले ही एब्स्ट्रैक्ट बन जाता है आई डोंट नो हाउ abstract is a summary of the entire paper that you have done in the span of 3 to 6 months yeah so abstract should actually talk about what are the variables you have studied what new variable you have introduced and the relationship between the variable this is not abstract acha nahi ho usko ya yeah, abstract idea ho jata absolute a good research paper will have effective abstract Okay. So the moment you see these things in abstract, that is variables, their findings, their relationship, 
then it is a worthy paper to read ahead. Ma'am, फिर hundred two hundred मिलते नहीं हैं. मिलेंगे ma'am जरूर. On your topic. मिलेंगे. जरूर मिलेंगे. क्यों नहीं मिलेंगे? There is an art for finding your research paper. और कौन से platform पे आप जा रहे हो? To search for your research paper. आप अकेले ऐसे नहीं हो कि रिसर्च कर रहे हो बहुत सारे जन वही टॉपिक पे कर रहे होंगे मे बी पब्लिश पेपर्स नहीं तो वर्किंग पेपर्स लेकिन पेपर्स तो जरूर मिलेंगे जहां पे देर इज एन आर्ट फॉर सर्चिंग द पेपर तो पता नहीं और एक सेशन मिलेगा तो वो आर्ट भी बताएंगे कि वो एरिया वो डोमेन के पेपर्स कैसे ढूंढने होते हैं वेल मुझे सिग्नल मिल गया है कि आई है माई सेशन एट फोर थर्टी I'm sorry that I will not be able to talk much. Jitna bol paayi, jitna samaj samja paayi. I've tried my best to explain you all. कि review करना है, तो topic decide करने से पहले review क्यों करना है, variables find out करने के लिए, relationship find out करने के लिए, title को structure करने के लिए, hypothesis बनाने के लिए, model कैसे बनता है. This things I could cover up right now. I wanted to show you a couple of videos also. What is Likert scale and all? But I think I will just forward my YouTube video link, which will tell you what is Likert scale. I've also mentioned certain uh, academic tools, <coughs> which a researcher can use to make their research work much more uh, faster and much more quicker, which is plagiarism free. So Savita Ma'am had told me, Ma'am, ऐसे कोई एक आप tools भी बता दो, which will help you to reduce plagiarism level also. टाइम कमिट नहीं कर रहा है मैं आपको लिंक शेयर कर दूंगी मैम विच आर माय वीडियोस विच विल डेफिनेटली हेल्प द ऑडियंस फॉर दिस यस यस मैम श्योर थैंक यू वेरी मच मैम थैंक यू मैम रियली थैंक यू इट वाज अ रियली लाइक वी यू सेड के हाउ मच आई कैन स्ट्रेच द सेशन लेट मी सी बट आई कैन आई थिंक दैट इट वाज रियली मटेरियलिस्टिक इंफॉर्मेशन द मेन इंफॉर्मेशन दैट इज रिक्वायर्ड फॉर रिव्यू ऑफ लिटरेचर हाउ टू मेक दिस टेबल हाउ टू मेक Yeah. our research methodology easy and how to proceed with the research without stopping with any doubts so i think it was a really uh, food for thought now the researcher the participants would be able I to i hope uh, the research the participants could connect to me because probably this uh, uh, this session was taken uh, at the beginning of your uh, workshop also but probably yes. i felt maybe not in depth uh, certain tips which i could give from my end for an yes, effective yes, journey for research and hence i picked this topic again yes yes ma'am so uh, we have uh, we'll be sharing youtube link of ma'am in the group so all of you can uh, go to that links subscribe to the videos look at the videos and understand more and even uh, we have the uh, we have transferred in the ppt ma'am's phone number and email id so if at all you have any doubts we can get connected to ma'am or at, uh, at the end uh, at the most what will happen is you have my number my email id you can connect to me i'll transfer your doubts to ma'am so since research is a ongoing journey and it's a team effort so no issues if at all during your completion of thesis whatever problems you have you can discuss with the forum we all are part of teaching fraternity and we can we can all help each other so thank you ma'am thank you thank really ma'am for accepting at the emergency thank time you. and giving the fruitful output thank you so ma'am thank you very much so that is the best part of it thank you ma'am thanks thank you so uh, we'll be taking the audience thank you very much for having a patience listen and i'm glad that some some questions could raise it means the session was understood by the audience yes that yes, which gave a rise to their queries thank you very much yes thank you ma'am thanks a lot the participants will be joining back for the valedictory within 5 minutes thank you ma'am all participants are putting up their uh, uh, feedback thank you ma'am with your permission may i log off ma'am please yes yes ma'am thanks ma'am savita madam jyoti madam has joined okay so i think we can start immediately with the valedictory session uh jyoti ma'am can we start another hello jyoti madam she would be connecting here yeah. she
Uh, we can start, ma'am, wherever possible. No need yeah. for break because today is the last one. No? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're just waiting for the chief guest, ma'am, to join. Yeah, ma'am, yeah, ma'am. Vrushali Madam, <clears throat> Jyoti Madam is already there. I think you make her a co-host so that she can react. Yes, Jyoti ma'am, with your permission, can we start? Yes, Savita ma'am. Yes, thank you ma'am. Yes. Yeah, Neetu ma'am. Yes, Savita ma'am. Yes, 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 yes ma'am. Uh, start me Yes. Ma'am, welcome to the library. Thank you so much for joining. Yes ma'am. Hello once again. I hope my voice is still... Ma'am, your net connection is uh, not working properly. Me too, ma'am. Okay, to start with the valedictory function. Hello, once again. Good afternoon. Our in charge principal, Madam Dr. Neetu Kapoor. Today's chief guest, Dr. Jyoti Pohane, principal, Pragati College, Dongavili. My team and the participants, I welcome you all once again to this virtual dice of valedictory function of 10 days national training and capacity building program on research methodology organized by Research Cell and IQSE sponsored by ICSSR. It's rightly said that everything that is good comes to an end. So is our workshop. 10 days a long journey started from 7th November and today we are at the end with the last session of 16th November. At the beginning, we all felt while fixing the time that whether it will be possible for the audience to join in the afternoon time, they may be coming from the busy schedule of college, they may be feeling sleepy, whether they'll be able to learn. But dear participants, I'm very happy to say that with your good response, with your proper encouragement, active participation, the program went well. Not only the resource persons were active, but the participants were active too. We all were learning again with you. So it was really a sumptuous food. A very, uh, it gave a thought for learning again, for unlearning, learning and relearning. That was a chance for all of us about the research and methodology. To highlight further, I would request our librarian, Mrs. Rushali Kulkarni, to read the report of all this 10 days journey. Over to you, Rushali, ma'am. Thank you, madam. Am I audible, ma'am? Yes, yes, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, good evening to honorable teachers, Dr. Joshi Kohane, madam. Our principal, Dr. Neetu Kapoor, ma'am. Our IPSC coordinator, Dr. Savita Punjabi, madam. All the participants. A very uh, good evening to all of you. It's my great pleasure and privilege to read this report of this FDP. Research has become an integral part of higher education across the globe. From academia to the corporate world, data analytics is used to derive insights in a complex, fast changing and uncertain business environment. Various statistical software packages like SPSS, RStudio, eViews, etc have made the job of researchers much, much easier to analyze and interpret the outcome of the research. Hence, IQSC and Research Cell of the Bharat College of Arts and Commerce 
had organized this 10 days national level training and capacity building program on research methodology sponsored by ICS, ICSSR from 7th November to 16th November on Zoom platform in online mode. This program was organized to understand the basics of research and its various aspects to clarify the process of research, including research design and review of literature, to help the research aspirants to perform statistical analysis by themselves and to provide insights about various funding agencies. This FDP was based on an effective blend of lectures and hands-on practice sessions on SPSs with the help of relevant examples taken over by esteemed resource persons with higher expertise. So 54 participants across eight states participated in this FDP. On 7th November 2022, inauguration of FDP was done at 3 p.m. Chief guest for the inauguration was Dr. Naresh Chandra, Director BK Birla College, Kalyan. He inspired all the researchers to always learn new things and keep ourselves updated. Guest speaker Dr. Smita Shukla, Director ICSSR, gave insights into the functions of ICSSR and encouraged all the participants to pursue excellence in research in her inaugural speech. Second session started at 4.30 p.m. on introduction to research and its aspects by Dr. Nishikan Jha, Vice Principal Thakur College, Mumbai. The session was interactive, which allowed participants to gain detailed knowledge on various aspects of research and how to start their own research with various life examples. He guided the participants about purpose, features, and importance of research. On 8 November, the first session started on review of literature by Dr. Kinnari Thakkar, head department of Commerce University of Mumbai. He highlighted that ROL helps to identify the research gap and it has a positive role in gearing research towards a right direction. He also gave a template to prepare ROL. In the second session of report writing by Dr. Kinnari Thakkar, emphasized on steps in re report writing, main components of research reports, and types of reports along with the citations, references, and bibliography. On 9th November, the first session started on research design by Dr. K. U. Nayak, Director Garware Institute, University of Mumbai. He gave detailed information on research process design. He highlighted framing hypothesis method of data analysis. He covered major parts of various types of research. He also discussed various types of variables, hypothesis. He performed practical orientation of smart PLS software for data analysis. On 10th November, session started with objectives and hypothesis by Dr. Kuldeep Sharma from KPB, KPB Hinduja College, Mumbai. He guided participants about developing hypothesis and research questions, processes involved in it, and testing and error in hypothesis. The second session was on how to develop a good questionnaire. He highlighted six steps to good questionnaire. He also gave an introduction to types of variables. On 11th November, first session started with types of sampling by Dr. Poonam Kakkar from Nirmala Memorial Foundation, Mumbai. He explained types of sampling in a very lucid manner with examples. Second session was on sources of data by Dr. Poonam Kakkar. Ample online sources of data were shown so that they can help the researcher in finding research gaps and proceed with the research with valid conclusions. On 12th November, the first session started with parametric tests by Dr. Atman Shah from St. Xavier's College, Ahmedabad. He started the session with an introduction to various types of variables. He demonstrated the data in SPSS software. Practice files were sent to participants for a hands-on training session. Trial version of SPSS was downloaded for practice. In the second session, he gave detailed information about various types of tests with example and hypothesis formulation. On 13th November, Hands-on training was conducted using SPSS by Dr. Atman Shah. He highlighted important tests such as ANOVA, 
along with hypothesis formulation using step by step procedure he also gave a presentation on correlation analysis and its interpretation participants were asked to do practice in asbcs on 14th november session on non parametric test was conducted by dr chirag mallik from bml munjal university gurgaon guidance was given to participants about which books to read for further reference he gave systematic presentations on how to select a test how to collect samples and various sampling techniques with live examples in the second session tests were conducted in sbss and shown to participants on 15th november hands on training session using sbss was conducted by dr chirag mal he guided the participants about how to check normality of data and conducted non parametric tests if required Session, second session continued with the SPSS training, in which a detailed explanation was given on how to perform cross tabulation for different types of variables. Chi-square test was performed with example, which is widely used in various fields. On 16 November, that is today, a session on various aspects of research was conducted by Dr. Poonam Kakkar from Nirmala Memorial Foundation, Mumbai. she gave important tips in the journey of research so uh, every day after every session online feedback uh, was sent to uh, participants through google form was taken for further improvement i am sure this fdt will definitely help the participants to design and conduct research projects research papers and phd at the outset i would like to thank everyone who has contributed in one way or the other in making this fdt a successful event thank you everyone thank you rushali madam for such a elaborative report i think rushali madam's words can be really added by the participants feedback so let us know their thoughts and how they felt about the sessions and the source persons so i would welcome rahul gosale sir to share the feedback I'm audible, ma'am. Yes, yes, sir. Uh, this is Professor Rahul Gosare, uh, working as an assistant professor in the Parikrama Group of Institute, affiliated to Savitri Bai Phule Pune University. I am also a researcher. Uh, I am very thankful to Bharat College of Arts and Commerce College, and in such great program, I see SSR sponsor ten days national level training and. capacity building program in this 10 days uh, many speaker touch different aspect of research methodology and its application as a researcher uh, in front of the researcher there are different question how to uh, de decide the title how to correlate objective hypothesis and uh, data analysis that is most important aspect in the in front of the researcher in the same way uh whenever the researcher is dealing their research or phd uh, there is a important question in front of the researcher that is how to analyze the data because uh, the different people are different research scholar are coming under the different knowledge so they are unable to understand the statistics and statistic is the very core part uh, un under the research methodology or research so in this program i am very uh thankful to the bharat college because uh, the arranging this kind of the program and in this program the two important speaker are covering the two important aspect that is parametric test as well as the non parametric test uh two important uh speaker that is dr atman shah who are covering the parametric test is very well manner uh he is cover t test under the t test he is cover one sample t test pair sample t test a uh, independent sample t test also he was cover uh f test under the f test he was cover one way anova two way anova correlation and regression and next two days uh, dr chirag malik was cover the non parametric test non parametric test is also important whenever your data is not in a normal level or normality is not happen that time we are using the non parametric test so dr chirag malik was told uh the different non parametric test and using this non parametric test under the uh, spss software so uh 
Mr. Dr. Chirag Malik sir was discuss uh, Wilcoxon sign rank test, chi square test, man witness issue test, and in this program we are understanding the different aspect of the research also. So I am attending a different program related to the research methodology and data analysis. But this program is very special to me as compared to another program. Specially very thankful to Dr. Atman Shah sir and Dr. Chirag Malik sir who cover the parametric and non-parametric test is very simple manner. Uh, as an academician and researcher, I'm ex expecting same program in future also. Uh, special time, thanks to the Dr. Nitu Kapoor, in charge principal, Dr. Savita Punjabi man, uh, convener, Mrs. Rushali Kulkarni, co-convener, Mr. Sandesh Tambe sir, Mrs. Shweta Satav madam, and Mr. Sanil Patil sir. So I'm again thankful to Bharat College for attending, uh, arranging such kind of the program. Thanks to the Bharat College. Thank you. Thank you, sir, for your sweet and kind words. Now I would welcome Asmita, ma'am. They have regularly attended the sessions and they were too active in asking the questions. Of course, there were others also, but uh, they have come forward as the representatives for all. So over to you, Asmita, ma'am, for your feedback. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, so thanks for giving me this opportunity. And uh, so respected organizers of ICSR sponsored 10 days national level training and capacity building program on research methodology. Dr. Savita Punjabi, Mrs. Rishali, uh, Dr. Neetu Kapoor, and all others. Uh, I hereby wish to thank you for the wonderful conference you have organized. Frankly, I didn't know and never imagined that a college in Badlapur could organize such a wonderful conference. I had basically joined it mainly because it was online, it had a nominal fees, and I wished to learn. So because of these three reasons, I joined the time suited and I said, okay, kuch to learning hoga. That was the chief motivator. But you all organized it so beautifully that it was beyond all expectations. Each and every speaker was very well chosen from all over India, uh, I, you know, which I did not know, realize that time, but each and every speaker was so well chosen for all, uh, and she was so apt for the topic, whether it was the inaugural session, whether it was your opening batsman, Dr. Nishikant Jha, whom, you know, it will be difficult to forget, and his uh, literature review by Kindri Chakkar ma'am, uh, SPSS training by Dr. Atman Shah and Dr. Chirag Malik, and all other speakers, most uh, so most of them were really good. Besides, the program was also very well structured and well thought. I have attended an SPSS training for a two-day program earlier. Uh, I'm a CA who has uh, had a five years teaching experience and have recently started with my PhD journey. So uh, this was totally an optional workshop for me. And uh, still, I feel that the program was so well structured that sufficient time, it was so well thought that sufficient time was given to each topic uh, to do justice to each topic. And we never felt rushed. I was remembering my CA coaching teachers, you know, in some of these speakers program, they were doing it so well and with such passion that I actually felt that they were going into details which were required for the student and not just doing it for just completing it. And I would, uh, you know, uh, and I would comment that the uh, thing also goes to Bharat College, who, which has structured the program in such a way that how many days are required for each topic, chosen the speaker accordingly, who is already eminent in it, and has made true, you know, true, uh, uh, true advantage, taken true advantage of the online. Not only the participants were there, the speakers were also chosen from all across India. Everything, the feedback sessions, the, the team was always, you know, they uh, send the link in advance. Uh, they sent the uh, softwares in advance. So I thank Bharat College for, uh, for the wonderful session conference they have held. It has reinstilled my faith in research. It has made me believe that PhD can be really wonderful and not boring. It can be very wonderful if done with right guidance and with the right attitude. Uh, so, uh, 
and i wish the team of bharat college of arts and commerce dr neetu kapoor and everyone all the best to keep organizing such wonderful conferences year on year and i look forward to being a part of it every year for at least the next 3 4 years uh, because learning always continues thank you thank you ma'am thank you for all the encouraging words it's too good to know that the efforts have really materialized we forget all the pains of organizing that all adjustments has to be made and all uh, people were supposed to be the host so it's really good to know everything and we forgot everything now yeah ma'am so that's you. why i wanted to speak and tell you that you yes, know you yes, have really done it well thank you actually this was the time when ca exams were going on so certain people had supervision but they were adjusting and they were doing hosting everybody has done their part beautifully so i think your words would encourage them much more so thank you ma'am now it's the time to handle a very difficult duty of introducing today's chief guest for the valedictory session dr jyoti pohane principal pragati college i will introduce ma'am with a very simple words that she is a very kind and simple lady but with great intellect ma'am is a passionate researcher she has completed phd in 2017 and uh, she has worked as a lecturer since Ju uh, 1997 she has completed 25 years in education field since last 3 years she is working as a principal of pragati college dumbuli ma'am has been appointed on various selection panels local inquiry committees by university of mumbai ma'am has been invited as guest person guest lecturer resource person chief guest of various events organized by different colleges and organizations more than 20 papers ma'am has presented in international national and state conferences and seminars she herself under the department of accountancy has organized six national conferences and many workshops for the teachers students and society ma'am has completed two minor research projects one in university of mumbai and one with ugc she has edited five conference journals in the capacity of chief editor so we are rightly with her passionate researcher she has compiled a book on accounting that is recent trends in accounting and auditing that was published in 2012 and that got sold worldwide her contributions in education field are acknowledged by we people also along with agri youth forum dumbivali kalyan teli samaj uttar maharashtra khandesh vikas mandal kalyan and ica education private limited dumbivali a really apt person to conclude with the research methodology workshop jyoti ma'am i don't have words to say thank you and to welcome you actually to introduce you sufficiently so with this small kind introduction i hope you accept it of course there is no proper justification with the introduction but still jyoti madam is too kind i said so over to you jyoti madam you all are waiting eagerly to hear from you about the valedictory address over to you jyoti ma'am thank you savita madam for your kind words uh, i thank uh, bharat college for inviting me as a chief guest for your valedictory function of uh, capacity building short term um, course of 10 days so i thank dr neetu kapoor madam for giving me this opportunity uh, and savita madam both of you are really working hard just now asmita has uh, expressed her opinion and the same opinion is mine also as i i have also attended your fdps in uh, karoda period you have organized uh, same fdp program for uh, technical uh, online platform so that i have attended and i know very well uh, that uh, bharat college uh, organizing skills are really appreciable so again uh, you have come up and successfully completed uh, this uh, 10 days fdp uh, so congratulation first of all for this and i am sure all the participants more than 40 participants i can see over here so they have they must have gained knowledge and whatever they might be having a, a say fear of going into the research might be now 
they I have overcome. Because in initial stages, when I uh, started with my research also, I was uh, not sure whether I will be able to go into that or not. Because my subject was accountancy, talking only about the figures and um, not having much knowledge about the research and expanding the things or the uh, your topic in a proper way. But slowly, gradually, when I come across various workshops and short term courses on research, then I uh, was confident that, OK, I can do the research work. So those who have attended this program uh, to know or to learn the ABCD of the research, uh, I'm sure now they are confident that they can go into the research. Because the research, if you hear about research work from the others, how they have done their PhDs, how they have started with the research, how to present the papers in the conferences and seminars, then you might get afraid that, oh, this is something different and something difficult, which I cannot do. But it is just like that. When you uh, fell into the water, you learn how to swim. Same way, all of you, if you have not started with the research, start with the preparing research papers, review papers. Once you review the other's papers, take a topic, select some research papers on that topic only, and whatever you have uh, gathered from all those research papers, summarize it as your review paper. So this is a starting point. What others are doing, how they are doing, in which paper, uh, how the title is tackled with, what are the different statistical tools they have applied, how the samples are taken, questionnaires are framed. So you will get a knowledge about all this. Secondly, when you go for review papers at initial stage, slowly you will come to know how to write your own research paper. And even you will come to know about your topic or your liking that, okay, this particular field or this particular concept, I can go into for the research purpose. So as per your liking, you can select uh, the topic for which you will go ahead with the research work. And then you will prepare your research paper first, then go for the minor research projects of UGC University because they don't require the PhD for uh, completing those minor research projects. So that will be, a, you can say, a trial of your preparing a research proposal and completing the uh, your outcome of the research. So if you go for MRP, you will come to know that, okay, if I'm okay with this, you can go for the PhD also. So in PhD, you will find that your skeleton for the PhD work is ready with you because you might be going with the same topic in your review paper, in your research paper, in your MRP, and that only you have to extend further for your PhD. So geographical area can be extended, different parameters which you can take, those can be extended. So your guide will help you out that how you can uh, expand your earlier research work to get your PhD. But the only thing is that you start step by step. That will be my uh, suggestion. I will not advise because yet I am myself is learning so many things uh, in this academics and research uh, field. So my suggestion will be that uh, you just go step by step. If you directly uh, go for the PhD without having any research paper and all, then it may be difficult for you and you might feel that, no, no, this is something that I can't do. So don't do that. First, have proper study. Attend such FDP programs, workshops, which will give you the insight, which will give you the guidance how to go ahead. And on the theoretical knowledge which you are getting from these workshops and FDPs, you will do your own work at a smaller level. And then slowly, slowly, you will move towards your doctorate. 
and then it will be a very easy walk for you with the confidence and you yourself will become guides for the others and at that moment you will not come to know hey, i was doing all these things i was afraid of all these things and now i am guiding the other people so more confidence will be built up and definitely you will do or contribute something valuable in the research field so whatever knowledge you have gained you revise this knowledge again and again apply this knowledge in your research work so it will be uh, there with you for a longer time you can improve upon it you can add up on it and your research base will be very strong and your research work will be acknowledged uh, by the different experts definitely so as this is a validatory function all of you are must be tired by doing your college work as well as attending the fdp and uh, keeping yourself alert for the 3 hours after hectic schedule in the college so you must be thinking now when it is getting over so i will not take much of your time and i will ma'am in fact i wanted to ask you something here please go like, ahead like you said you know that you should do minor research projects yes. before like lot of us have ended into phd at least me you have ended into phd we have not done mphil we have not yes. done minor research you know so first time we are doing research like at okay. least and what is happening is that i have faced this problem that you know sometimes the college sometimes your guide wants you to write a research paper yes they, they are saying okay you publish something yes. you write for conference and you publish something just because you know their name or something they want ha huh? so they want now you have just begun with research and you cannot even you know uh, let out your thesis and everything then how do you write something just how to write a conference paper or a research paper without you know uh, because you are just a beginner and uh, they want it on any topic but they want you to write now how do you do that that's what i am telling you asmita ma'am that if you go with the initial phase of review papers and research papers then only slowly uh, you uh, come to know how to do that attending workshop fdps will give you the theoretical knowledge but its application you have to do on your own and no one will be there to guide you step by step okay now this is your hypothesis so this word is not fitting over here so you add up this word do like this do like that no one is going to tell you they will just give you their opinion how to improve upon it that you have to find out if you have taken some geographical uh, area suppose a city only they will say that you take a district now you will come uh, into a problem that how to collect the data in the district because i am having uh, my uh, tie ups uh, in some uh, local body organization where i will be getting my data but at district level where to find out this so all these things you have to do on your own guides are there but guides will tell you that okay this you have done correctly this you have not done correctly here the improvement is needed but how to improve upon the ways you have to find out on your own and in maximum cases this happens so if the newcomers like you you have not done your mrp earlier so you might be thinking the guide is there so he will tell me what to do and what not to do and how to uh, write the paper and all so sorry uh, all these things are not done this is a practical thing though it is a open platform from my experience i am telling you this or uh, whatever things i have seen in this field so you have to research yourself your capacity and your own resources you have to find out to complete the research work ha huh, they will tell you okay go here you find out this book refer that book uh, you do the review work this is a website which will help you out but again the things are to be done by you and then only you are going to get improve upon if everything is initial even, research uh, initial research paper which yes, is within yes. one year or two years of your joining uh, can they do they also require data matlab uh, review papers are not database review papers you are taking a topic and you are 
uh, taking four five papers and uh, giving your own opinion that what these four five papers are telling you. While reviewing these papers, you come to know how the analysis is made, where data is taken, where primary data is taken, where secondary data is taken, and which tests are applied. In some paper, if you see percentage is enough, you need not have to go for SPSS. SPSS is a very technical uh, software which is not required for research papers. So there you can go st step by step. Yes, you can start with ANOVA. Only one uh, uh, statistical test you can apply in your paper. So like this, uh, you will come to know. You have to go into it. Okay, okay. You can write a review paper and by reading yes, you will come then to go know. For the research because from review paper you will come to know now what I should do in this particular topic because whatever yes. research topic you select or research problem you select every problem and topic has different angles somewhere you will require primary data for something you will require secondary data for something you might be referring only books so this happens so it all depends what topic or research problem you are selecting okay ma'am so any other question so you have enjoyed it as a journey of research and i wish you very best luck and come up with uh, uh, well known researchers and i wish that all of you will do a good work and become the resource persons in the dps in future thank you ma'am thank you thank you ma'am thanks a lot i agree with ma'am that it is just like swimming yes get into the water understand the deep deep down level of water and save yourself find out the strategies that can help you out so this is purely a practical part that you have to go through and also whatever you have learned during these 10 days you have to repeat it again and again otherwise within 2 3 days you will forget everything again you will have to go to recordings and then we don't get time to review with the recordings it is just a formality to share the recordings but actually speaking once the session is on we all are engrossed so whatever you have learnt it is best to revise it again and again so thank you jyoti ma'am for the right guidance i am really thankful to dr jyoti being the principal she has given full time to talk to the researchers thank you ma'am now coming ahead with the program to the second last part of the program that is calling our captain of the ship the ship is directionless without the right captain so i would like to invite neetu ma'am dr neetu kapoor in charge principal bharat college for uh, giving uh, for uh, giving the closing remarks to the program ma'am are you in the network <coughs> i'll try i'll yeah, yeah, try let's yes. see yes, yes, so yes, where do we land with uh, yes. first of all very a very good evening to all of you i take the privilege to welcome today's valedictory chief guest dr chuti pohane ma'am principal pragati college ma'am it's really kind to have you on this virtual platform and be the part of our program and your guidance to asmita ma'am and all other researchers i think will definitely prove worth for them what actually asmita ma'am jyoti ma'am was trying to say was that review some papers of interest of your topic like i'll just suggest you if you are from accounts background again we belong to the similar background so just to suggest you like financial literacy is a very ongoing topic in our subject so you can take the level of financial literacy among college students compare them with commerce and science students this type of small small research papers you can prepare and present that will help you initially to start up with your research that will help you to guide uh, as a as savita madam always said say captain of the ship and i always say don't call it a ship because ship can any time get a drown can be drowned down into water which we don't want we always want to be floating in the water why not to sky on the why not to shine in the sky as a stars so this is what i always feel at the outset being the ahead of the institute i would like to thank all the resource persons starting from our chief guest dr narish chandra sir who
to which was a dream to have him as a chief guest to the program but then he accepted our invitation and he was there dr smita shukla and icssr who have funded this program sponsored this program i think that is what actually motivated us because in finance is the life blood of anything so that funding definitely has helped us to start, plan up this program of 10 days online program definitely next next time we would think of having something offline to meet everyone on the platform so uh, and then all resource person starting from dr nishikant ja kinari madam punam kakkad madam uh atman shah sir and then chirag doshi sir today today the due to all of a sudden problem punam kakkad madam again accepted our invitation and joined within i think within i think two hours she accepted our invitation and she said i'll take the session don't worry because all of a sudden shraddha ma'am had some emergency at home and then she accepted and the, she conducted the session so well though the topic was repetitive but still there were so many questions so we can understand that research is something but which is re and search so similarly it applies to all of us also we need to re- do research again and again learn research again and again and the 10 days program that we had today was the basic program this basic program actually there are lot of advancement in research now modeling softwares have come instead of spss people have started using r studio and python so there are lot of advancement i said na it should research should become an addiction a addiction a per, like a drug addict cannot live without drug similarly we should become a researcher who cannot live without research this is what i think we all should as a teacher should learn because when we become addicted to research and learning definitely our students will follow our pathway and that will be built up ourselves for nep 2020 that is what we all are looking forward ahead the next 10 years would be the revolution in education and especially higher education which looks ahead for the institution institutions which will be only talking about research so considering all these facts and upcoming revolutions in the education industry research i think is something which is very integral very crucial very important so let us mark our journey toward it let us always be the learners in this field because there is lot of things to upcome a uh, lot of things that will upcome in the future course in the due course so that is how i see research as a future research is a future where we can grow so let us not take it as a formality let us take it as an part of teaching learning system and in fact i should say that now let research be learned and research be taught that is what i look, how i look at things then next comes my team to practically you all have seen i was never interactive during the sessions though i was always there i should say the captain of this research methodology workshop training program or capacity building and training program was dr savita punjabi she did everything starting from selection of resource person invitation even i think uh, making of brochures was also what she did it on her own i did not contributed a single word into what she decided other than fixing the chief guest that's all rest all goes or rest all credit goes to two people in my team that is savita madam and technically everything went well that is rushali madam she never left anything half done she has always done her job very nicely so these two people in my team and then rest all supported them in this journey without fail i think there was not even a moment when anyone said madam we cannot do this everyone was their feedback links were timely shared means i was surprised that do am i there in the uh, in this program do i have any role to play do people know me now anymore i was surprised i was actually thinking at the end of the day that only dr neetu kapoor is there on the brochure otherwise there was no one nothing 
so i think now my team and i being the part of also this team i think the team has done the well i didn't did anything but the entire team did a collective effort without a single day i think mujhe aisa laga hi nahi ki kabhi ye program aa shuru hua kabhi khatam hua on uh, one day i had an university meeting on urgent basis we didn't even saw what happened on that day but everything went so smoothly so at the end what is the success goes to the team the credit goes to the team so i congratulate everyone including the participants because without you the team is incomplete so thank you keep joining us whenever we have a program we would be always on the forefront to welcome you thank you very much all of you for being the part of this training program thanks a lot thank you ma'am thank you ma'am has done the last work of giving half of my work is done now i am here to propose a formal vote of thanks but before that i request audience please don't leave the meeting because there are certain announcements regarding your certificates and feedback links so be there continued so i am thankful to my in charge principal ma'am for appreciating us but a leader cannot work until and unless there is non intervention policy ma'am never said anything whatever we said okay jaisa aapko acha lage जैसा आपका टीम बोले एंड इवन टीममेट्स ये तुम्हें करना है ओके सो दिस टू लेटर वर्ड ओके इट वाज समथिंग दैट मेड दिस प्रोग्राम अ सक्सेस दैट वाज द सिंबल ऑफ अवर टीम वर्क सो थैंक यू एवरीवन आई मूव अपॉन टू द फॉर्मल वोट ऑफ थैंक्स आई एम हियर टू प्रपोज अ फॉर्मल वोट ऑफ थैंक्स आई एम थैंकफुल टू डॉक्टर ज्योति मैम दैट इज चीफ गेस्ट फॉर द वैलिडिटरी सेशन फॉर एक्सेप्टिंग आवर इनविटेशन एंड बीइंग द प्रिंसिपल आल्सो शी हैज स्पेयर्ड सर्टेन some time to join she has joined before the valedictory time also and she was there for some time for the session also and then uh, giving us pro- uh, guiding us properly i am thankful to our principal our in charge principal dr neetu kapoor ma'am from the very beginning whatever we used to say she used to approve and that was the best part of it thank you ma'am for actually guiding and giving us directions at the time of doubts then i am thankful to management for their support whatever uh, we have to just inform them before doing the uh, programs and they just say yes go ahead so thank you to our management people thanks to all the resource persons from day one no one has given any message or pinged me like we were in tension ki kabhi kisi ne bol diya nahi i am not able to take the uh, uh, take the session except today that was emergency okay it it is to be understood but all the resource persons supported very well bas ek din pehle we used to call them sir link transfer hua kal 3 baje bas utne hi words wo log bolte the means it was a surety that they are also worried and they also cared so thanks to all of them thanks to all of our participants who were so active that we were forced to be active along with them unko dekh ke learning karte hue hame aisa lagta tha are main to kuch nahi sikh rahi hu ye log to itna sab puch rahe hain so we were more attentive so thank you to all the active participants thanks to my all teammates my administrative staff who have done the back office job and all those who played role on and off from hosting to handling all the programs including the certificates so thank you one and all now for the participants i would like to say that feedback form link has been shared um, please see to it that in that postal addresses part is there keep uh, keep correctly input correctly your postal address so that we can send you the physical certificates e certificates will be posted to you on your mails within 7 days but physical certificates will be sent to you all at your places at the postal addresses that you will be writing please be careful while putting up your postal addresses because certain participants while registrations they had made a mistake in emails since it is technology it's normal but your physical certificates should reach you that is our concern so please fill it properly whatever queries you have even after completing this program please keep in touch even if you have any queries you can contact to us research is a ongoing journey and as i said it's a team effort we all will be learning along with each other so let us keep this forum continued i would like to end up with two lines you to judte nahi rishte kisi bandhan ke taar se यूं तो जुड़ते नहीं रिश्ते किसी बंधन के तार से भगवान भी निकल आते हैं पत्थर से अगर बुलाओ प्यार से 
भगवान भी निकल आते हैं पत्थर से अगर बुलाओ प्यार से सो वॉट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट इज योर टाइप योर कंटिन्यूएशन योर सपोर्ट एंड योर लव एंड केयर सो विद दीज वर्ड आई लाइक टू एंड अप विद दिस टेन डेज प्रोग्राम थैंक यू एवरी वन प्लीज फिल अप द फीडबैक फॉर्म अलॉन्ग विथ योर पोस्टल एड्रेस मेक इट करेक्ट वाइल पुटिंग अप योर पिन कोड ऑल्सो we will be sharing recordings yes yes recorded videos of all the sessions will be shared to you we have already downloaded everything except today's session so today's session once it is converted recording will be uploaded on the drive and we'll be sharing you with the links go through it you can revise it at the time when you require at the time of making up your papers and i wish i wish you all the best and let us see let us hope that in the future we'll be having a resource person from some uh, participants so thank you everyone thank you for being with us in this journey thank you for keeping us active for energizing us thank you everyone postal address is asmita ma'am it is there in the form feedback form ka last part hai postal address put up there itself If you are not able to get feedback forms here, we will be putting it in the group also. And all those who have attended seventy-five percent program also, we will be sending the certificates to them because certain people have given that they were not able to. Uh, they have pinged that they were not able to attend the program because of their college work, because of their traveling. So we will be sharing everything with them. Recordings will be shared to you. You can go through with that recordings and seventy-five. minimum 75% attendance certificates will be sent to you within 15 days so thank you everyone i think all your queries are being solved thank the you ma'am thanks be... a lot yes yes thank you ma'am ma'am i was from science active. background i think i thank was the person from uh, a science background rest all were from commerce but uh, i en really enjoyed the session this was the second uh, uh, of fdp i attended uh, basically yes. i have a inclination towards badlapur because i used to stay in badlapur and uh, uh, of course research methodology uh, it was very difficult because being from science background you know completing the practicals the practicals got over at 3 o'clock and immediately we had to rush for uh, yes, the yes, session yes. so it used to be very difficult but uh, ma'am it was really good it was really great even Thank though not from that. commerce background i uh, learned a lot because the methodology is remaining same everywhere right yes. so it was really good thank yes, you ma'am so thanks so. a lot thank you ma'am ma'am ma online was really good you please continue you know yeah uh, we'll be adopting hybrid please. hybrid Hi. yes yes ma'am yes. because then because we can relax at yes. home after the teaching we can relax and also attend the sessions and your traveling time is also reduce your energy is also save and we are not having yes. to take the off from college yes yes ma'am yes so see you all once again again next year we'll be having fdp very soon we'll be flourishing with the uh, conference brochure with your group so thank you everyone be always in touch and always share your achievements with us thank you thank you everyone rushali ma'am you can wind up with the session yes ma'am